Today I'm going to be talking about a uh, topic that if you're new to concealed carry or if you've been carrying for a while probably have heard of, uh, a term called printing. Uh, and I think there's a lot of confusion around this term. Obviously a lot of people do understand it, but I've been, I get emails and questions asked like, oh, yada, 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 but what about printing or what do you feel about printing or what kind of holster makes it so I don't print as much. Um, and I think it's a little bit misunderstood, so I just wanted to make a quick video kind of breaking it down, what it is, what it isn't, and should you care. So I'll just start off by saying printing is kind of uh, like a gray area. Uh, I don't actually know, I, I really doubt that there's many cases of people getting tickets or being arrested or anything for just printing. Um, if they do get arrested, it's probably in conjunction with like some other things, but printing by itself is kind of like, Eh, I don't care. I personally don't care about printing at all. But depending on where you live, you maybe should care a little more or not. Um, so let's just get into it. So when most people think about printing, they think, oh yeah, the butt of my gun is sticking out a little bit and people that know about concealed carry will see that and probably think, oh yeah, that guy has a gun. Um, and you know, that's not really printing. Printing is that the outline of your gun is clearly discernible through a layer of multiple layers of clothing. Um, to the point where it's almost 100% sure that I see that outline of a gun and I'm for sure that that's a gun in that guy's pants. Um, and that's really what printing is. So if you just have like a little bulge or a little protrusion or whatever that somebody looks at it and they can't for sure, like maybe they could guess that it's a gun, but they can't for sure know that that's a gun then that's not printing and that's not something you really need to be worried about. And I think it's pretty rare unless somebody's wearing like one of those uh, Under Armour shirts or something that really printing is an issue because I, I, I've never had a situation and sometimes I wear pretty small shirts, other times I wear bigger shirts, but I've never looked at myself carrying a gun and been like, oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, I can see the outline of my gun. Maybe if I looked in the mirror, I could say like, oh yeah, well, somebody might be able to tell that I have a gun on or if, you know, the trained eye would be able to see this bulge over here, or over here and know that that's a gun, but that's not printing. So it, it's, you really, if that's what you're worried about, don't worry about it. And furthermore, nobody's looking at you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody is like analyzing your waistline. If, if they are, it's some other concealed carry nerd that's trying to pick out who else is a concealed carrier. And either they're going to be like, ooh, that guy's printing, but you're not, so he's wrong. Or he's going to be like, oh yeah, another concealed carrier. That's great. Um, and either way, that's fine. Um, the average Joe, they're not going to look at you. And if they see a little bulge, whatever. Um, so really I think printing is just, I don't know, it's kind of a popular term, but I think it's blown way out of proportion because really hardly anybody prints. Even if you have a horrible crappy holster, you're probably not printing. Do you have a bulge? Do you have a protrusion? Yeah, probably, but technically it's probably not actually printing. So now that we've talked a little bit about printing, what it is, let's talk about what it's not. Like I said, if the butt of your gun's sticking out a little bit, that's not printing. Don't worry about it. I mean, you can worry if you want to, but you're wasting your time. Um, also, if you were carrying on the hip or appendix or whatever, and you reach up off the top shelf and your gun actually shows, that is not printing um, because your gun is no longer hidden behind a layer of clothing. Now that, you know, you, do, you definitely don't want to do that. If you're in like an open carry state or whatever, if you're allowed to open carry where you are, then that's kind of another gray zone. It's usually in most states okay. If you have a concealed carry permit or if you don't need a concealed carry permit, you can conceal your gun or you can open carry. So if something like that happens, it's no big deal in those kind of states. However, if you live in a state where open carry is not legal, then you flash your gun like that. That's no longer printing. That's no longer like a protrusion. That's just, that's flashing your firearm. And that could be a warrant for arrest or whatever. So that's not printing. That's something completely separate. So if you're worried about actually flashing your gun or revealing your gun, um, that is something to worry about. So you have to be aware when you're reaching up to get something off the top shelf or whatever, or you get out of your car and your gun's hanging out, um, that's not printing and that's illegal in a lot of places. So here's my personal setup and I carry a pretty crazy setup. Um, and I'm not a big dude. And this is just a regular shirt, you know, it's not crazy baggy and it's not that tight. Uh, it is a dark color, so it kind of hides it. And I have this stuff lit up. I have like studio lights on me right now. So it's just whatever kind of printing or protrusion would be pretty clearly uh, visible. So this is my setup I'm carrying right now. It's a Glock 19, 
with a Surefire XT1 and a Trijicon RMR. I have a Glock 17 mag and I have a knife. Uh, and this is all in just one holster. Um, like you've heard in almost all my videos, I make holsters. Uh, you probably haven't seen this setup, or maybe you have actually. I've been toying with knives as part of the holster um, quite a bit. And it's kind of a curve towards the body. So this, you know, minimizes printing or protrusions or whatever quite a bit. But as you can see, like I can carry a lot of gun and I'm not a huge guy. Uh, and there's no fear of printing. If I had a really tight shirt on, something like this, this, you know, it still isn't even printing, really. This is just, I got something. Maybe I have a fanny pack on under here. I don't know. Um, but just all that to say is I carry a big gun. I don't care about printing. <laughs> you probably shouldn't care about printing. Uh, and yeah, like furthermore, nobody, especially if you appendix carry, I mean, if you carry on the hip, uh, some people are a little more accustomed to like looking there and seeing something protrude. But if you carry a Penix carry, nobody's going to be walking around looking at your junk. If they are, you know, give them some stink eye or whatever. Um, but yeah, printing, whatever. So now that we kind of understand what printing is and what printing isn't, uh, we're kind of into the territory of should I care? Uh, should I care legally? Should I care personally? Should I care tactically? Um, and that's kind of a a vague question and one you'll probably have to answer for yourself, but I'll kind of help answer it a little bit and steer you in the right direction. Um, so should you care from a personal or a tactical type mindset? Uh, because you know, the concealed carrier wants to be a very gray man, wants to be very discreet, wants to get a jump on somebody, whatever. Uh, I'm not that gray man, honestly, but obviously I, I understand the concept and there's a lot of merit to it. Um, so concealed carrying, you don't want people to know you have a gun, otherwise you might as well open carry, right? Yeah, that's kind of the, the general thought. Um, so if you're worried about printing or even like having your gun protrude a little bit, then yeah, to be completely tactically sound. Um, if you're worried about somebody like looking you, scoping you out, like if you're at a restaurant and you think somebody's gonna be looking at everybody, uh, they're not. Um, even a robber, they're, they're not, nobody's going to be looking at everybody. So just quit worrying. But if you want to worry about it, uh, that's fine. Uh, and then you might want to worry a little bit more about, uh, printing or not printing or not having any protrusion, uh, in which case you want to look for a holster that helps accommodate that, or you want to wear clothing that helps accommodate that. So like I've mentioned in some other videos, like black shirts are kind of the best way to hide printing, hide shadows, hide protrusions, all that stuff. Um, furthermore, you might want to up your shirt size and uh, quit wearing that shirt that's way too small for you. That helps with printing a lot too. Um, but if you're worried about like the legal side of it, most places printing is not really illegal. It's kind of maybe frowned upon, but almost all places where open carry uh, and concealed carry is legal and you're legally allowed to conceal carry, printing isn't illegal. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not telling you, oh yeah, when you get arrested, tell them that this guy on YouTube told you that printing isn't illegal. Uh, I would check with your sheriff's office or whatever to see if it's legal in your municipality if you're worried about it. But most places where open carry is legal and concealed carry is legal, uh, you don't have to worry about printing. So legally, check out for yourself, but you're probably fine. So... The only, the only thing that I would ever worry about with printing, and again, like I said over and over again, it's very rare to actually print um, because it's pretty hard to like have a clear, clear outline of your gun that somebody can look and be like, that is for sure 100% a gun. It's not a cell phone. It's not a knife. It's not a flashlight. It's not a boner or whatever. Uh, so it's, it's very rare for people to actually print. Um, but you know, if you're worried about some idiot somewhere, if you're in a very like anti-gun place, you may want to try and conceal a little more because there's nothing stopping that person from calling the cops on you. There's no, nothing stopping that person from making a big fuss about it. Uh, so even if you're not printing, even if they just like, they see that you're wearing a gun shirt and they see that you look like a gun guy and they see like maybe something sticking out that's not actually printing, but in their mind it might be printing because hardly anybody knows what printing actually is. They might call the cops on you and say you have a gun. Um, furthermore, if you're carrying in a place that you're not supposed to carry, um, like myself, I may or may not carry on places where I'm technically not supposed to carry, um, then you may want to have uh, your concealability uh, a little more, you may want to be more in tune with how concealed your gun is. Because even if you're not fully printing, 
if you're giving off signs or there's enough sign for somebody to suspect that you may have a gun and you're in a gun-free zone or something like that, um, then you'll want to try and cover it up because even if technically you're not printing, you may be carrying illegally and I'm not telling you to do that either. But there are situations where you might be a little more concerned about printing or protrusion. So yeah, I hope that helps clear things up a little bit. Uh, if you're one of those people that was really concerned about printing and oh my goodness, I can't like even have the butt of my gun show like a little bit. Uh, hopefully I uh, eased your worries a little bit because uh, printing is something that I don't, I don't worry about at all. I don't think about, I don't care about. Um, do I want to keep my firearm concealed? Of course I do because I'm concealed carrying in the first place. Uh, do I worry about it? Do I try and completely change my wardrobe? Do I try and find those holsters with the freaking claws or wings that push the gun into my body more um, so I can have maximum concealment? No, those holsters are so uncomfortable. I hate them. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't really care. Uh, but if your holster has a good design, it's probably not going to print that much. But if you, if you don't, if you have a crappy holster that uh, is having all kinds of protrusions or whatever, uh, then you still don't, I, I think you still don't really need to worry about it. And this is just, you know, my personal views, my personal opinion on the matter. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me and I'm going to get tons of dislikes on this video and I don't really care. But hey, if you want to help combat that and you agree with what I said, just go ahead and like the video uh, and we'll try and like it up more than those guys. Um, but hey, if not, if you disagree, go ahead and comment below. Let me know how I misspoke because hey, it happens. I misspeak probably in pretty much every video and I apologize for that. But um, So if you disagree, if you agree, if you have any other comments, uh, if you have questions, go ahead and put them down below and I'll get to them or my followers will get to them. Uh, again, thanks for watching, sharing, liking, all that good stuff. Uh, until next time. Oh, quick life update. I got a dog. He's uh, His name is Atreyu. Uh, ooh, not the band from uh, Never Ending Story. I don't know if you care about these life update things. Let me know in the comments because maybe uh, nobody cares and, and I won't do them and I'll save everybody's time. But he's a shelter dog. Um, they told us he was a German Shepherd Husky, but I think it was total bull, and I think he's just kind of like some random mutt. He's uh, maybe a German Shepherd Mastiff, or maybe he's got some pit bull in him because of the sock. I'm not really sure, but his name is Atreyu, and he's the newest member of our family, uh, and he's a little four-month-old puppy. Do you have a dog? Let me know in the comments what kind of dog you have and what kind of sweet accessories I should get for my dog. Like I got a multicam black collar, but maybe I need some kind of sweet harness and other gear. Uh, let me know, link to them, because I don't know. Before this, all I had was a little uh, Pomeranian Chihuahua.